Lots of stories have passed through this control room on the way to your home. One of them was last week's story about high-speed internet here in North Carolina. It generated a ton of email and Facebook responses. So let's take a look. What we want to do is get more data, more neighbors to fill in. Internet access, or the lack of it, seems to be everybody's top priority and frustration. Here's a couple of examples. Phyllis from Mebane said, North Carolina gets nowhere near reliable fast service. It is spotty and less than 50 megabytes. We pay for 100 megabytes. John writes, it is a joke in the rural parts. Brad from Chatham County tells us, I moved to Pittsburgh expecting five megabytes, but surprisingly, we're getting 100 plus megabytes. You can also save a lot of money by using your own equipment. Many comments were about not getting the internet service you're paying for. Tell the state broadband office at the link I've included in today's story. Two weeks ago, we told you about a scam seminar set up by a Cary church to help make senior citizens more victim aware. We checked back with one of the attendees to find out if it did any good. It was the best presentation I've ever heard. And now to a follow-up about scammers who steal cell phones off people's doorsteps after ordering the phones under a false name. Just a few moments after the UPS delivery was made, a person just happened to walk right up onto the victim's front porch. Morrisville police told us they arrested two suspects last week. Yesterday, Fuquay Arena police say they arrested two more people connected to those cell phone thefts. Tonight, investigators tell us the case is getting bigger and they're expecting more arrests. They believe the suspects were operating not only here in Wake County, but all over North Carolina and even in Virginia. We'll keep you updated. That's Follow Up Friday. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.